On this video, we're going to show you how to configure the FortiGate firewall plugin to work with Gray Cortex Mendel. Right now, we're looking at where we will apply the firewall. Here are the active firewall settings that are in use right now. We can see no restrictions on the firewall. Now we will check the connection to both of our interfaces is working. We have our private HTTP server set up and running on port 8080. As we can see, connection to the server is not being blocked at this time, and it goes through to port 8080. Communication is also visible within the Gray Cortex Mendel Flows tab. Now we'll set up FortiGate to work with Mendel. We'll open the Settings tab and the option Plugins. There, we'll see that there's already a plugin named FortiGate.py. When we set up our plugin profile at the Settings tab, we click the Add button, select our FortiGate.py script. We'll then complete the necessary fields. Next, we'll need to set up the IP address. And the last step, is to complete the credentials for the FortiGate account. We can input a password or SSL certificate as needed. Finally, we'll click Add to save our settings. Here, we can enable and disable our plugin profiles. We'll examine our settings, and now we're ready to use the plugin that we've set up to block unwanted traffic on the network. We can block traffic directly from events. First, let's find an event with unwanted communication that we want to block. To do so, we'll use the Action button. Here, we can see the plugin that we want to use and the settings that will take action after execution. We can adjust the source and destination subnets and IP addresses protocol, services, and ports we will block with the firewall. Let's make sure that we can still connect to our web server before we block it. We'll set up FortiGate to block the connection from my computer to our web server, which runs on port 8080. Then we'll execute the command. We can check settings of the firewall where we can see that the new setting with the Mendel prefix has appeared. When we check the connectivity to our running HTTP server, we're no longer able to access the IP address on the port we just blocked. Access to the IP address without using the port is still active. If we list all active sessions on our router, we can't see any connection on port 8080. Let's check live traffic coming to the router. We can see that the device that is trying to connect on port 8080 is being blocked. All of this is happening because of settings generated directly from Gray Cortex Mendel. 